Being just a week away from the Modern Warfare 2 launch has gotten a lot of us incredibly bored just waiting for that launch, but thankfully, we did get that campaign early to hold us over, but is it even worth playing that campaign? Well, let me say, the campaign is great. Infinity Ward, like usual, knocks it out of the park with campaigns, and nothing is different here. Now, before I do go on, I will say that there will be some minor spoilers, so if you haven't played the campaign yet, go play it and then come back to this video. But for the campaign itself, this campaign takes place right after the events of Modern Warfare 19, which makes it a little bit easier to follow along, but I will say, I do wish they explained some more of the story before going straight into this story because there was a lot of stuff that happened between Warzone and Spec Ops over the last two years, and if you didn't really pay attention to that, then you're going to be just a tad bit behind. It's nothing major like Halo Infinite, but it's enough where someone like me who's a little bit more interested in the story behind the game was left wondering about some things. Regardless though, this campaign, like most COD campaigns, is easy to pick up and you really don't need to know too much before going into the game to understand what's happening. Of course there's callbacks and things that will get you hype if you do know the backstory, but if you're just hopping on into the game for the first time not knowing anything, it isn't bad by any means. I will say though that while the campaign is fairly different from Modern Warfare 19's campaign, there is a lot of similarities that I wasn't huge on. I think the main one is that the story itself almost follows exactly like Modern Warfare 19. You have two separate stories happening at once, and you basically bounce back and forth between the two until you all come together to finish the fight. I know the classic Modern Warfares are like this too with you jumping from Delta to 1 for 1 or whatever faction you're in, but it just feels different in those games because they are such different factions with such different objectives whereas in this game you're almost after the same goal, you're just split up in between two forces just fighting back and forth, it's just a little bit annoying. Regardless though, I don't hate it, it works, but I do wish they shaked it up a little bit from this classic formula. Other than that though, the only other things I didn't really like with this campaign was 1, the difficulty, and 2, some of the dialogue. Now going into the difficulty, let me say, I have played almost every COD campaign on the hardest difficulty, have it be realism or veteran or whatever, and you can't even see this as I have Cold War and Modern Warfare playthroughs on those difficulties on my channel, but never have I ever played a campaign this difficult on such a low setting. I played this on regular and it felt like it was on the hardened the entire time. The time to kill at points were just so high that it became annoying and every other enemy they threw at you was a fully armored titan that just took 3 mags to take down and it just became increasingly annoying and repetitive over time. I have also seen other people talk about this difficulty as well so I know I'm not alone here but it's something that might turn people away. Now don't get me wrong it's nothing unbearable but at times you will be wanting to get off the game which shouldn't be the case for a campaign. For the dialogue though, there's these times in the games where you can basically just talk with people like Ghost or whoever and you can choose the dialogue and at points, it really just feels out of place. Of course, it is cool to hear unique dialogue and just talk but other times it's just like why am I talking here? I think the main one that comes to mind that I really don't like is that there is this really, really undercover mission where you literally have to be quiet but for like half the mission you're just talking over the radio which also doesn't make sense if you played the mission but still it just feels really out of place that you're talking with someone and just like having normal conversations in the kind of situation you're in. Of course you can simply just not answer and be quiet which is nice but still some of this dialogue just feels really out of place in my opinion. Other than that though, everything else was pretty well done. Of course the gunplay and mechanics felt good, sounds were A tier, missions were fun and engaging, and the story despite how predictable it was, it was still fun to follow. The missions themselves were actually fairly unique for COD and brought a lot of mechanics that were nice to see. My personal favorites were the throw you onto this map and you have an objective and it's up to you to figure it out kind of missions. Of course you could have just had the game hold your hand with these kind of missions, but you could also just figure it out by yourself and just figure out how you want to approach it without any help which was something very fun to me, since there was just so many unique ways to approach these objectives. It was really fun seeing my friends approach these missions different to me because we all kind of approached them differently. Some went in loud, some went sneaky deaky like, and then some just did whatever. It was just fun seeing it because you really had full reign of what you want to do and you just had to figure out, this is your objective, figure it out, and it was nice having that kind of freedom in the game. Also with these missions as well, and just overall a lot of the missions, we got to see what I would assume are DMZ mechanics with how you can craft stuff with materials you find around the mission, and you could use that to like open up more of the map, or find more approachable areas, or you could just make utility to approach a enemy, let's say, differently. And usually with COD campaigns, it is very linear and doesn't have much for freedom, 
but this campaign really knocked it out of the park with how you can approach a lot of the stuff and of course there are still those linear missions but there is a ton of freedom in this game which i really like to see because normally you don't get to see that and it just opens up the creativity you can have with the game Overall though, this campaign was just all around a solid campaign, which is to be expected from Infinity Ward, and it also introduced a lot of mechanics that made it even more fun. I don't think this is the best campaign ever because of how predictable the story was at times, and how familiar it felt at times with how it plays out, but I will say, it is a really solid campaign. If it came down to it, I think this campaign would be a solid 8 out of 10. I just wish they shaked up the story a little bit more, so it wasn't as predictable. But other than that, the mechanics of the game, and just the overall fun you had was just really fun, and it really does push this campaign. This is definitely a campaign you should check out before the game comes out, or just check out in general, because it is fun and the story will bleed over into the rest of Modern Warfare 2 when that game comes out, which will make knowing the story of the game just a little bit easier to understand and a little bit more fun when you see the cinematics when you load up the game. Let me know though what you think about this campaign and if you liked it or not. If you did enjoy the video though, make sure not to leave without leaving a like and subscribing for more COD content like this, but until the next time, see ya.